Good morning! Woo! It is currently 6.42 a.m. and I'm about to leave this room at 7 a.m. I've been waiting for this day for a really long time. The past 14 and a half days have been really hard, but it's okay. Now I'm free and I can explore and yeah, I just can't wait to get out. So I'll be taking the hotel shuttle bus from the hotel to the subway station. And then around the subway station, I'm gonna try to get a taxi so I can get a ride from the subway station to where I'm staying. Next time I vlog, it's gonna be outside of this room. Some new scenery behind me. Woo! I'm so excited. So I thought we were leaving at seven, but someone came to knock at my door at 6.52. So I was kind of like, rushing to leave but now I'm here outside I haven't been outside in so long ah the weather the sun okay Currently, it is the second day in Seoul. I didn't really vlog much on the first day, my bad. <laughs> but I woke up early today around like 7 and then my body couldn't go back to sleep so I just decided to get up and now I'm going on a morning walk. Uh, but there's this nice river right here where a lot of people do their exercise. Today is the second day of class, first day of class for me since I skipped the first day. But apparently I didn't miss much. They just practiced some Hangul, which I kind of wish no. So not too bad. But half excited to go. I haven't been in class for a while, so hopefully I can focus. But excited to meet new people and also learn more Korean because the language barrier is real here. Who knew that Korea would make me an early bird? after being a night owl for so long. Uh, it also was kind of hot yesterday. I was so sweaty. So I'm wearing short sleeves and shorts today. But it's kind of comfortable right now in the morning. Oh, it's so hard to vlog in public. I feel so self-conscious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fifty-six. I've arrived at my classroom, first day of school. No one's here yet though. Empty, empty. Thankful to my roommate who also goes to this university and just showed me how to get there so I didn't have to figure it out. Wow, I look so sweaty, it's so hot. Uh, but let's see what I learned today. I'm walking to an e-mart to buy some granola bars so I have breakfast um, it's about a mile away so mile walk there mile walk back two mile exercise Woo the class I was originally in um, I guess all my other classmates are doing it online so I was the only person like in class with the teacher and so the teacher told me to go to another building not another building another room so I did and then so I switched classes and yeah got a diverse group of people in level one korean found it <laughs> <laughs> this emer is huge it's like 
It honestly looks like a place you store stuff. There's no one here. It's empty. Where do I pay? Am I in the right place? <laughs> Max. Can't find my granola bars though. Hmm. These are like the closest thing I found. These are like cereal bars. I don't know if I should give it a try. I don't know which ones. That's a bummer. I walked all the way here and no granola bars. Okay, JK, I found the E-Mart. There was two levels. So one level was like, I don't know what that was. Second level is just the normal supermarket with all the produce. But looks like it's the same type of granola bars, but they have a greater selection. So honestly, this one makes more sense that there's this E-Mart. Wow, I feel so stupid. Why are there two levels? Why? So confusing. Uh, fruit Loops, Fruit Loops. <laughs> Okay, uh, it is currently day three in Seoul. I didn't really vlog the first two days because I was kind of shy, but you know, third day, third time's the charm, am I right? I'm looking for the little market. I still don't know the area super well, so I don't know where the supermarket is. I was trying to look for a place to buy something to eat for breakfast. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. I think the market's on the other street, but oh, there's a convenience store here, so I'll go there first. Oh, ice cream. Too early for ice cream though. Okay, there was nothing that I wanted there because I didn't want to, I don't want to have to heat up in anything because I'm supposed to leave for school soon. So I'm going to go to the market and look there. Oh, I finally found the market. I'm so directionally challenged. <laughs> oh, but I don't see any like grab and go food. Sad. Let's look around. Sad. So the market didn't have any like easy to take and grab and go food. And so I'm just gonna head back to my place then and just eat the granola bars that I have. We have made it to Dongkuk University where we are taking Korean language class. It's only about a 20 minute subway ride from our place and it's a very nice campus, very green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the library is wow just doing some shopping um, yeah they have a lot of stores here uh, it's a pretty touristy place so they have brand names like Zara and other ones but just walking around it taking a look student that is on 1 p.m. pacific time 
Oh, it's so early. I'm so tired. And so I'm tutoring in the living room. I'm trying to talk softly because everyone else is still sleeping. But the thing is, I can't go back to sleep because I have another student. Not at 6 a.m., but at 7 a.m. So I have to stay up and tutor the second student at 7 a.m. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. <laughs> but it's okay. The students are very nice, very good. And I do love teaching them. So yeah, but oh, it's way too early. I wish. It was not 5 a.m. Korean time. Oh, I'm gonna be so tired in class today. Uh, ah, but here is a quick tour of the living room. So there's the kitchen, fridge. I am at like the little table and then there's couches. And then just an open space area and then a lot of people just dry their clothes over there on drying racks because I guess because in Korea they don't really use dryers so you have to use drying racks to air dry everything but yep that's the update I, it is day four in Korea ah. I'm going out exploring by myself first time to home day yay look at me being independent <laughs> Y'all, I just got lost. I walked so much to the wrong gate, but now I found it. Ugh. Gotta pay attention to all the signs to figure out which stairs to take. Korea University. So I wanted to see this building because you always see it in K dramas. Oh, but it took way too much effort to find. After all my hard work, I have to enjoy the building as much as I can. Oh, I think this is the one in the dramas, something like this. This is the view. See the tall buildings. So nice. Oh, Korea University building. This is the Korea University building. It took me so much effort to find this. I'm telling you, it took me a couple hours because I was being dumb and oh my goodness, I'm so tired of walking. Uh, so originally I was going to go buy a sandwich from Isaac's Toast because I wanted to eat it. So I walked all the way there from where I'm living, which isn't too far, but it's closed. And then so I decided to walk like up and down that street twice to see if there's any other food that I'd like to eat. But I decided that there wasn't anything else that was like easy to just grab and go. And then so I was like, oh, I'm near Korea University. Why don't I just go, you know, find this famous building I always see in dramas. And then so I walked down that, back down the street to the Korea University um, campus. But I didn't realize there were two sections of the campus. There's the sciences campus and like the humanities liberal arts section so i went to the sciences campus walking around it could not find it and i realized there the liberal arts humanities sections all the way diagonal across the street and so i walked back up the street 
and then I walked down the street that looked like it would connect to Korea University but it doesn't so I walked all the way down it and I had to walk all the way back up it and then down another street and then I found Korea University's other section and then I didn't know exactly where this building was so I had to walk throughout the whole university to find it and so after all that walking and all that work I have finally made it uh, and since I'm so tired, I decided to just sit on the bench and relax and enjoy it. Oh, but all the buildings are really nice here. They all have the similar um, style, except the Sciences Campus is more modern looking. But these buildings are really nice to look at. Outside, and I found a random restaurant nearby to eat pork cutlets. 